to be making a mouth guard. Does anybody here wear mouth guard on their teeth? Nobody? So is mouth guard for maxillary or mandibular arch? Where would you put your mouth guard? Maxillary. Maxillary. What's it, what are we protecting? What else besides the teeth? So I have two models here. One is ideal to make a mouth guard and the other one is not. Can anybody guess which one? Guessing this is the one that's ideal. This would be ideal? And why would this one not be ideal? Because it has those sharp points on the front. Besides that, yeah, you're right. But besides that, can you tell? It doesn't have enough gum. Like there you go. It doesn't have any gum showing on this model. This model, you can see all the gums. This model, you cannot. So that doesn't mean that this is this model should go to the garbage. You can still use it probably for a night white tray. Okay, but this one is definitely ideal because uh, you need to have the gum there. And so now remember, when you are taking your impressions, just try and get that vestibule area. Vestibule area when you're taking your impressions. Okay, so we're gonna use this model. Here is our material, it's very thick. Okay, this is our stay back machine. And this area right here is very hot. And you can see the yellow um, squiggly lines that indicate that it's very hot. This is the, the um, hot element. And then over here is your table. And on the table is the suction, okay? So what we want to do is lift the frame, place the mouth guard material very centered in between the two frames, lock it in place. Lift it up, place your hot element over your material and turn it on. There are two buttons here. One is for the hot element and the other one is for the vacuum. So now you're gonna place your model with the teeth facing you onto the table here with your suction. So, and that's a model that's been trimmed as a working model. So you are right when you picked that specific model that it doesn't have the point. So we trim differently when we're using it as a study model versus a working model or a study cast versus a working cast. So here's an example of the model that you would be trimming your um, model first. So it's gonna look like this with the nice points and everything. And then after you've had it marked and observed by the instructor, then you're going to trim it nice and rounded like this to make your mouth guard. Okay, so don't forget to have your model marked first after you trim it before you make your mouth guard. So this is going to take a little while for it to heat up and while you're waiting for heat to heat up make sure you don't walk away. But what we do want to get is some wet paper towel. You're going to have some wet paper towel looking like this. So that once we have a, once the material has melted to like a belly towards the model, then we're going to drop the the, the, the uh, frame with the, with the mouth guard material and move the hot element away and turn on the vacuum. Okay, and then you're going to use your wet paper towel to uh, help the material form to the model.